Hello, this is Demand and Compensation. I'm going to very quickly show you how to create areas for color. First off, you take your magic wand tool, and this is what I usually have it set on. And you have to select your line art layer, or you can sample all layers, but I usually just select the line art layer to make things simple. Select the area that's not going to be colored. Make sure to grab certain little tiny areas that might be hidden, because they're not continuous. Don't do that. Right there, right there, and right there. Okay, that's pretty much all of it. Look, that's solid. Yep, that's everything that's not going to have color in it. So, you go to your color layer, and you right-click, and you do Select Inverse. And now, only this area is selected. But if you paint bucket it, well... Normally, you'll see that it has an edge to it. For instance, if you do that, see how it's got this white edge around it? I don't want that white edge, so I'm going to show you how to get around having that white edge. So, what you do is you go to Select. Select means um, everything that you have selected. You can feather it, you can do a lot of different things, but what we need to do is modify, expand and we need to expand it by one pixel. If it's a whole lot of space that it's not picking up, you could always expand it by more than one pixel. And now it's expanded by one pixel, and we'll try coloring it again with the paint bucket here. See how that white edge is not there anymore? That's all you really need to do. It's a really simple solution. And now I've got this whole space to color. Okay, I hope that helped. Um, have fun coloring in Photoshop.